Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I've been working quite hard this last week and a half on a big project that will be the next video. But I needed something to put in here for you guys, and uh, I solved myself a problem. I solved a problem that I had with uh, Linux and uh, my radios, and I thought I'd share it. Now, Linux, like most operating systems, um, if you plug in an external USB audio device, like a headset, it automatically becomes the default, and the audio from YouTube or whatever goes to the headset. If there's a microphone, that becomes your default input. Uh, and that's a nice feature, but not so nice if um, you're a ham radio operator and you've got a radio like the some of the newer Yezus or the ICOM uh, 7300 or 705, which has a USB connection to the computer. When you plug in the radio, or if it's plugged in and you power it up, um, your audio switches to it automatically. And um, I, that's not a good thing, <laughs> because... You'll set your software up to talk to the radio, but you don't want your computer's alert sounds, or if you're watching YouTube videos while you're running FT8, you don't want your YouTube audio going to the radio. Uh, so I've had to go into the sound control center every time that I power up my radio or plug it in and switch my default back to the computer speakers. So I've went ahead and figured out how to change that behavior and how to prevent that from happening automatically. You can still manually you know, direct the default setting to the radio if you want to. But if you don't want your radio automatically becoming the default audio device uh, for the OS every time you power it up or plug it in, it's easy enough to fix. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how you can change that. All right, I'm on my Linux desktop and I'm going to go down here to the control center and sound. And we'll go up here to output. And you can see we only have my built-in audio on the computer. Now I'm going to plug in my ICOM radio. And you can see the new device appeared. And if you see this little dot, it became the default right away. So all the audio is going to that device by default. That's not what we want. And I've had to come in here and manually do that every time I plug in the radio. So we don't want to do that. Let me unplug the radio and we'll go to a terminal. You can open a terminal with Control alt t by the way. And uh, you're going to end up in your home directory by default, but we need to do uh, just a few simple things here, okay? We're going to change directory cd space slash etc slash pulse. This is the folder where all of the Pulse Audio settings files are. And if I take a look at what's in here, you can see we've got several things. This default.pa are the default settings for Pulse Audio. That's the one we want to edit. Now, I'm going to use the Nano Editor, which is a very simple uh, editor to work with. It's, it's not, I'm not going to take you through VI or Emacs or any of those super complex editors. So we'll keep this easy. So we will type sudo super user do, that means do the following command as root. We're editing a system file here, so we need permission. Um, nano dot slash, meaning the current directory, default dot pa, just like it is spelled above. And everything is case sensitive, so make sure this is all lowercase. Uh, it should ask you for your password. I just ran the command within two minutes, so it didn't ask me, but it'll ask you for your password, and then we're looking at the file. Now, we will scroll down about a page, and what we're looking for is right here. These two options. Uh, mo load module switch on port available, and load module switch on connect. That switches defaults when either a device becomes available or gets connected. So we're going to comment those out, and putting a hash or the tic-tac-toe symbol in there is how you comment it. You can see it turn blue, meaning that's no longer an active command in this config file. And we'll do that for that one as well. Uh, now to save our changes, 
uh, right down here, control O to write out. So we'll control O, file name to write, same thing, default PA, I'll just hit enter. And then control X to exit. Okay, we've changed the file. Now we have to reload Pulse Audio so that it picks up those changes. And we do that simply with Pulse Audio dash K. And that's going to tell it to reload its settings. And we're done. I'll exit the terminal. And let's go back into sound here and look at our output devices. And I'm going to plug in the radio. Here we go. There we go. So you can see the new audio device appeared, but it did not become the default. See the dots still up here. We didn't switch it. And that is how you change that behavior. Obviously, if you ever want to um, reverse that change, we would just uh, go back into Etsy Pulse and uh, edit the file again. See there, it's asking me for my password. It's been more than two minutes. And all we would have to do to reverse the change would be to remove our little hash here. Unload module, switch on port available, and load module, switch on connect. I've seen some posts um, in forums saying you only have to comment this one out. But nope, it's still changed. So I comment out both that one and this one, and that solves our problem. So there you go. It's an easy change to make. You can always reverse it later if you need to, and uh, it saves me a little time now, and I'm, I'm not going to accidentally be sending my computer alerts out over the radio. I don't know about you guys, but once in a while when I'm in the digital section, I'll hear a little Windows sound or something, you know or a, a mail alert or some other random sound come across where somebody has the, uh, the radio as their default. So that's how you fix that. All right, we'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you uh, a two meter Yagi that I built that's a little bit, little bit of a unique design. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.